Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga Today. I have to tell you I'm feeling a little paranoid about this video because it's the third time I've done it. So I hope that it works and if you see me like checking, double checking the recorder, that's why. We're gonna do it this time, friends. We're gonna do it. Okay, Ellie is here beside the camera yeah. to help me today um, demonstrate the half moon pose. Um, I'm really excited about our class today. No, it's old hat because I've done three times. Okay. We're gonna start with the finger breathing, something that we can take with us and we haven't done in a while. Secondly, we're going to do some old standby poses, the ones with the push-ups in, and then some warriors. You guys have done that a lot of times. Finally, we're gonna do our half moon, which you've done before, but not for a while. So we're gonna walk it step by step with Ellie here demonstrating. Finally, we're gonna read a book that I'm really, really excited about called I Am One, A Book of Action. There's a lot of things going on in the world today, friends, that are sometimes confusing or tricky for our families. So this book empowers us to do whatever we can to make the world a better place, even if it's just something that seems very small. It doesn't matter, it still works, okay? If we lift one, we lift them all, right? Okay, let's go ahead and do our finger tracing breath. Hand up, thumb to the base of your finger. You can close your eyes if you like. Nice long spine from the top of your head to the bottom of your tailbone. Here we go. Inhale, trace up. Exhaling, trace down. Tall finger. Inhale, tracing up. Exhaling, tracing down. Ring finger. Inhaling, tracing up. Exhaling, tracing down, ring finger, inhaling, tracing up, exhaling, tracing down, ring finger, inhale, tracing up, exhaling, tracing down, tall finger, inhaling, tracing up, Exhaling, tracing down. Finally, point your finger, inhaling, tracing up, and exhaling, tracing down. Oh, that's nice, huh, guys? I tell you, it works. All right, let's come on back to our child's pose. Knees together or apart, once again, up to you. Walking your hands down, resting your head on your hands, or on your stacked fist. Let's continue our mindful breathing. Breathing in and out. Deep breaths, noticing our lungs expanding and contracting. On our legs, just like those ocean waves coming in and out. Good job, friends. One more deep breath, and then let's walk our hands up here, and we'll come meet in tabletop, okay? From here, we'll do some um, cat and cow. You know what to do. Drop your belly, head up, inhaling. Arching your back, exhale. Drop your head and tailbone. Inhaling, drop your belly. Exhaling. Arch your back. And one more. Set. Inhaling. Drop your belly. Exhaling. Arch your back. Very good. Okay, friends. You can walk your hands just a step forward if you like. We're going to tuck our toes. And bring our hips to the sky. You can bend one knee and then the other. Stretching out your legs a little bit. Or you can just find some stillness. Take a deep breath here, and then go ahead and walk your hands toward your feet. I'm gonna step back a little bit so you can see, see me from here. We'll inhale our arms up overhead, and exhale, hands heart center. Okay, friends, now we'll start the um, sequence with our push-up in it. Inhale, arms up overhead, 
exhaling hands towards your feet. Inhaling, touch your shins. Exhale, you will step back. I'll walk forward. Keeping your feet or your knees up or down here. We'll take a big inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up, dog or cobra. If your knees are down, go to child's pose. And then we'll all meet in downward dog. Take a big breath here and raise one leg high to the sky. From here, bring that knee of your raised leg toward your nose and plant your foot between your hands. Place your back foot on the ground and then we'll rise up and I'll scooch back. You can stay where you are. Into our warrior one, okay? Arms high to the sky, knee bent as much as you'd like. Bending it more makes it a little more hard, challenging on your muscle. Bending it less gives you more of a relaxing workout, okay? From here, we'll bring our hands front to back, hips facing the side, the side wall now. You can look at your front hand if you'd like. Okay, inhaling, scooch over your front hand. Bring that front hand to the ground, back hand to the sky. You can look over those top fingers if you'd like. And then windmill your bottom hand to the sky, top hand to your leg. Very good. From here, we'll windmill our hands back down to the mat or carpet, stepping our feet back for another plank. Drop your knees or not. Inhale, lowering down, pushing up to up dog or cobra. Pushing back to child's pose if your knees are down and all meeting in our downward dog. Good job guys, other side. Lifting up your other leg, then bringing that knee to your nose, planting your foot between your hands and dropping your back heel on the ground. Good job. Arms high to the sky, knee bent any amount. We'll go to warrior two, hands front to back. Looking out over your front fingers, shifting forward over your front hand, you know what to do. Front hand to the ground, back hand to the sky. You can lift up, look at your top fingers again if you'd like. Then one with your back or bottom hand to the sky, top hand to your leg. Very good. Now we'll windmill our hands one more time down to the mat. Bring your front foot back, drop your knees. And we'll land in child's pose. Big breath in and out. Couple more breaths here. Good job, friends. Now we'll have our guest demonstrator of Ellie showing us how to do half moon. It's a little harder on the carpet here. You guys might be on carpet too. So we'll give her all our support. Okay. Now's the time for you also to move to a place where you have some support, maybe on the table, by your table or chair. Okay. All right, Ellie, so stand facing that wall. Yep. Now you're going to put your weight into your back leg. The other toe is going to come back and just be on the ground. Nope, not standing on it, just your toe touching. Mm -hmm. Now Ellie's going to use the same hand as her standing leg and reach for the block. If it's not in a spot that's helpful, she can move it to a place that feels natural for her support. Does that feel good? Okay, good. Now, Ellie, lift your leg up so it's kind of parallel with the ground or as close to it as you can get. Good. You can choose to flex that back foot or not. Oh, I forgot to tell her something important. Ellie, look at something on the ground that's not moving. Okay. I want to baby Yoda. You, you look down. I look down. So, yep, there you go. Ellie's top hand is gonna reach for her hip. As she tries, right yep, right there, as she tries to balance. Okay, good. Once Ellie and you have your balance, you can look to something on the side of the wall. You can turn your gaze to the side, like over here, Ellie, towards the windows. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And bringing your back leg back up, if you can remember. It's not easy. Once you feel like you have your balance, you can take your hip hand and raise it to the sky. There you go. Good job, Ellie. Excellent. If you like, you can bring your back foot a little higher so your leg is parallel, but you don't have to. Excellent. 
and you can come out of it. Very good. Guys, that's a challenging pose, isn't it? Gosh, I tell you what. Okay, now, Ellie, you can move the block to this side, and we'll do the same thing on the other side, okay, guys? All right, so go ahead. Oh, stand facing the, oh. this side. Mm -hmm. Put your weight into your other leg, the one you didn't use last time. Yep, her toes are touching the ground. She's gonna use the same hand as her standing leg to reach for the block. You might wanna move it a little bit forward. She wants it, the block, and you do, in a place that will offer her balance, okay? So put, yep, put your weight in the block. Look at something that's not moving and raise your back foot as close to parallel with the ground as you can, yep. Your other hand, it's okay, it's hard on carpet, you guys, it really is. A little bit under. There you go, look at something that's not moving. Put your hand on your hip, your top one, if you can. Looking at something, there you go. Find your balance, honey. Once you find your balance, Ooh. You know what, I'm glad that Ellie's doing this because I know all of you are having the same difficulty. When you're ready, look at something over here. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, raise your top hand to the sky. Stopping friends at any time in this pose is completely fine because it is hard. There you go. Very good, excellent. Try, try again. Okay, come on at any time. Excellent work, Ellie. Thank you to my assistant. Okay, friends. So we did something that was extra challenging, right? And that's kind of a lesson for today that we can try things that might seem insurmountable. Okay, now we're gonna read this fantastic book called I Am One. Okay, guys, here we go. I Am One. Feel free to lie on your back and listen or to be sitting up, up to you. Okay, I am one. How do I make a difference? It seems like a tall order for anyone so small. But beautiful things start with just one. One seed to start a garden. One stroke to start a masterpiece. One note to start a melody. One step to start a journey. One brick to start breaking down walls. And I can speak one gentle word to start a conversation. I can use my one soft voice to start a friendship. I can perform one act of kindness to start a connection. I can share one tender hug to start caring. Look at even the dog is smiling. That's pretty cute. I can light one candle to start leading the way. I can make one drop in the water. to start ripples that become swells and then waves. Traveling over oceans, across borders and boundaries, landing on distant shores to start a chain reaction, inspire a movement, make a change. I am one, and I can take action. We are each one, and we can take action together. Right, friends?
One by one, we can make a difference. Because one is all it takes to start something beautiful. Now friends, the end of this book has a little, a little meditation time. So I'm going to ask if you would like, you can lie back or stay seated um, and rest your eyes for just a moment. And I'll read this to you, okay? This, this is to think about um, maybe what one thing you could do. And I'd like to mention a lot of you wrote cards to Mrs. Suckness and that was a big deal, friends. She was missing you and I know that you made her heart so happy. And who knows who made she made happy after that. So thank you for doing that one thing. She got over 200 cards, can you imagine? What a bucket filler. Okay, so go ahead friends and close your eyes. And wherever you are, place your hands on your belly and breathe slowly in and out through your nose. Notice your breath and your belly moving in and out. In and out. Now think about something you would like to help with or change you want to see in your world or in your neighborhood, in your school, or wherever it is. Notice any feelings that come up. Maybe you're feeling angry or sad or frustrated. Don't try to stop those feelings. Instead, just name them in your mind. Now, bring your attention back to your breath. Try to find a slow rhythm breathing in and out. And imagine each breath filling your whole body. As you breathe in, say to yourself, I am strong. As you breathe out, say, I am focused. Breathe in, saying, I am strong. Breathing out, saying, I am focused. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes and notice how you feel. Maybe now you could write down or tell somebody what came to your mind. What did you think about that needs changing? What feelings did you have when you thought about it? And what can you do now that you are focused and strong what first step can you take to be that one difference? You are ready. Remember, no act is too small. You can be that pebble that causes the ripple to reach far and wide. You are one, and that is how it starts. Okay, friends, let's finish with our volcano breath. Perhaps sending your love today to the cause that you would like to help with or to one person. Breathe them in, exhaling, send them your love. Okay, friends, have a beautiful day.